Hey everybody, welcome to a new segment. It's uh, Tony, it's Herbs Plus and Beadworks here. Dave's doing the filming. We're going to make SSKI. What's SSKI? You're saying super saturated potassium iodide. Alright, I get a lot of emails from a lot of people saying, where can I buy this stuff? And I forgot to put the super thing on it. We'll get it for you in a short. Anyway, for those of you down in the United States who cannot get the potassium, uh, sorry, the iodide salts or iodide crystals, this is the next <coughs> best thing, if not even more so. So we're going to show you how to make your own super saturated potassium iodide solution. So what we're going to do, I measured off before the show, I measured off the potassium iodide here. Okay, So I got approximately 170 grams, which is equivalent to 6 ounces. So I'm going to try to do both metric and standard, or imperial, whatever because not everybody knows the metric and and majority of people who know metric today don't have a clue what the imperial is. This is part of the brainwashing that our government has done to us to screw us up. All right, so we got six ounces of this and now we're going to measure off one ounce. All right, I think it's got one ounce in here somewhere. Yeah, they're okay. We're going to measure off one ounce. We're going to try to keep it simple because this stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a container and we're going to saturate that solution to a point where it can no longer take the potassium. So by the time we're done with this, we're going to get close to maybe a gram or 100 milligrams per one drop in a solution. So that's what we're going to try for. Now, worst case scenario, we'll blow this place up and you know, you'll know have to worry about me again. <laughs> Uh-oh. The video won't even make it if that happens. <laughs> All right, we're going to measure this off. So we're going to measure off one ounce. And I'm using distilled water. Now, please don't email me or send me messages on the YouTube about I'm using plastic. I know I'm using plastic. I'm using distilled water. Now, I've been getting this time and again about the potential problem with the plastic. I agree with all of you on this, but this is for the common Joe who doesn't have a double distiller, who doesn't have a distillation system in his house. Uh, the only two waters that I use are reverse osmosis and distilled water because of the clean, cleanliness of the water and they're contaminant free. Now, having said this, tap water and all your mineral waters have about 70,000 other 70,000 contaminants in it. People are telling me about the liver. It's one thing that the liver will be able to handle and I can take iodine, which we're doing now, to neutralize any of the xenoestrogens that might be in the plastic. So, I, under, I am aware of that. <laughs> but, a lot of you out there are not rich. Not, a lot of you didn't, weren't born with a silver spoon up your backside. You have, you're poor. You're working class. You're losing your jobs. Things are happening. Use what you have. And for those of you who have the money, spend it on those machines. By all means. However, wait. This is, again, in a, an elaboration or an illustration of what you can do to protect yourself and keep yourself healthy. Nothing's perfect in this planet, or it should say flawless, because perfect, uh, all perfect means it's fully mature. Nothing's flawless. There are going to be flaws in everything you do. So keep that in mind. Don't strain the gnat and swallow a camel. Okay. <laughs> you know, just so that everybody knows this. All right, so we're going to measure this off. I think I got what? Uh, all right, one ounce, give or take. It doesn't have to be an approximate science either, <clears throat> okay, because we're not that. All we want to do is maintain health. Now, we want to get as close as possible, yes, but don't get caught up again splitting hairs. All right, so we got one ounce in there. So now, we're going to shovel this in. So, and what we're going to be able to figure out with this eventually is that um, we've weighed this out at six ounces. I put six ounces here just so I have enough in to, so I don't have to keep weighing it. Now, we're not going to probably use all this. At least I don't think so anyway. All right, so I'm scooping it in. Okay, now what I'm going to do is stir it up, see because iodine, it's, uh, I forget now how the term is used, but it actually, it's, it, it, the water will keep on absorbing this, holy smoke, that's what I call that. Okay, what we're doing is we're making a super saturated solution, not just a saturated, a super saturated. So, what you'll see is, the solution's already dissolved that little bit. I took about 10 grams out, which is approximately th uh, three ounces. Okay, I'll do this a little at a time. So what we're doing is just continually 
Now I'm using a chopstick. Use whatever you have. Um, try not to use metal. Metal will iodine does break down metal. Okay. So it's starting to look like she's getting there. <laughs> kind of. Alrighty. So we're mixing, mixing, mixing. Look at that, eh? And she's still not saturated. Not yet. Okay, I like this better. See, look at that. She's cleared right up. Okay, so we're still going to add more. I'm telling you not to use metal. I'm using a metal spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but anyway, use something that you can. Do. It shouldn't hurt, but anyway, don't don't wet it. Whatever you do. You didn't need that spoon anyway. No, right? I didn't need that spoon anyway. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna get all the iron I need from that spoon. <laughs> all right. See how it's still dissolving. So what are we looking for? Like to we're looking to, for what we're doing is as we're doing this. Okay. We're looking to get to the point where it will no longer break down the iodide, potassium iodide. We're looking for a point where this water is now so saturated with it that it, it, uh, it's just complete. And you'll know this because when you get to a certain point where you've got um, some residue, some small amount of residue, that's why we're doing it in small amounts. Okay. So far I've used almost uh, uh, 21 grams so far. Look at that. That is just amazing, eh? Uh, oops. Don't get excited with that. I don't want to blow anything up. The municipality where you live may find that annoying. <laughs> Not to mention the taxpayers, especially if you live in Ontario, because we have a new tax called HST. It's, uh, it's called the horse manure tax. I can't say the S word on, on the TV there. The video. Probably could, but it wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's just dissolving away. Okay, so I'm keeping my eye on the scale. Look at that still curler. 